Hi there! I wanted to show you the IKEA spice racks that I bought. I bought four of them and I did use my gesso first. I painted it with the gesso white and then I used the um, paints from that I picked up from Tuesday morning. So I did use the four colors here and let me show you real quick how that came out. So the white one looks like this. So, and then the red one. It's seven o'clock. The red one here. I think I it they turned out pretty good. And then the yellow one. And then the blue one. So I am going to have my hubby hang it next to the window. And I'm going to have my traveler's planners hang on that. Um, for the two that I bought, these two boxes, I think I'm going to paint them in blue and yellow or red and blue. So I'm still deciding. So when I paint that, I'll show you how they came out. I did also uh, paint it in with my gesso, my acrylic gesso that I picked up a long time ago. So I'll be showing you that. I am home from work this uh, entire week until this coronavirus goes away. I am using my vacation and my sick time, which is not much. So hopefully by tomorrow they'll tell me I could work from home. But I want to show you some stuff that came in by AliExpress. And these are stickers. And they are uh, different little verses or sayings. So that's how that looks. And they have like a vintage look to them with the typewriter settings, which I like. <clears throat> this one, this one here has the months of the uh, calendar and then these are the last so that is what I picked up from that store then from another store I picked up these little they're like keychains but they have the like material and you could attach stuff on it so I was thinking of attaching some charms on them and let me see how this is so I picked it up in pink and blue and white so hopefully I'll be able to craft since I'm home because the reason why I'm home is because I am one of those who have the underlining conditions so I didn't want to take any chances so I just said I'm staying home so I did pick up a couple of uh, memory decks which I will cut out for you and I'll show you in another video. This one is a typewriter. And then this one looks like that. Let me put something underneath. So that's the typewriter. And then that one. Um, And then this is a box that I believe you put memory decks inside of it. I'm not too sure. But this one says hello and another word there and memories. And then it cuts out the bubble of it. So that one is like that. And then... I picked up this one. 
you can do Mickey or Minnie because it has the little bow for Minnie and you can leave it as Mickey also. So this one looks basically like this one but it, it has a design. It's different design. And I picked up this one that looks like a TV memory decks. Goes like that. Because it reminds me of the old time TV where you had to get up and turn the knob. <laughs> and then the antenna, you had to move it around. And then this one is a memory decks also. And it comes with a bowl that you can make. And then it has a little teacup or coffee and another bow that you can make. So it has this bow or that bow and then the, the back to it. So, and I think this you can make it as a pocket because you could flip it over and then put this inside. So that's like a pocket too. So it's like a pocket memory deck. Then I did pick up uh, two stamps for my memory decks. This one says name, address, phone, and email. So that's good. You could put it in the back of this one. Have that memory deck fits that one. So I bought the stamp to it. And then I bought the stamp to the other one, which is a recipe one. So this one goes to that one. So then I did pick up this little girl. I believe she's like a I forgot how she looks, but I think she's like a unicorn type of a because right there has the little horn. So I think she's like a little you know, unicorn. I'll cut it out and show you. And when I bought her, they gave me a free stickers, which I already used one of them. Actually, two of them, that one and that one. So I already used. So they gave me this little vegetable stickers as a thank you. Then from Amazon, I did receive the two things that didn't come before. So this one is the Distress Specialty Stamping Paper. So you could use your Distress inks with this paper and it does come with 20 sheets. And this one is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I, I believe you could use it for your cards because that's like a card base right there already cut up for you. So this you could use your Distress markers, inks, stains and paints. And it has a smooth surface for detailed stamping. So, and you could even use your distress, uh, you know, the Tim Holtz stamps that are distressed. You could stamp it with your distressed inks and it'll work. And then I picked up some more uh, blank traveler's notebooks for my small little traveler's notebook. This one is has the lines. This one is plain. This one has another. Oh, this one is the graphic, the graph paper. And this one is the dotted. So I picked those four up for $9.99. And I will show you my Coco and Reno when I cut them out. But for now, this is the March with the butterfly and all of that. I saw pretty. Uh, projects already with this so I'll cut them out and I'll show you in another video so stay tuned for that for my AliExpress and my Coco and Reno and as always give it a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe or leave me a comment down below thank you and take care